Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and I help people navigate through their awakening process. And this video is going to talk about how you can quit your job and then support yourself financially doing something you truly love and resonate with. A lot of people I believe are at a stage that I was at where you feel very unsatisfied with your present situation, your present job, career, business, etc. It's becoming more and more draining and unfulfilling. And at the same time, you're getting synchronicity sort of telling you that it's time to move on. There's something out there for you that you're going to like better. But you don't know what that is. And yet these, uh, the moment, these two separate like parallel balls of momentum continue to grow you're you're becoming more and more and more dissatisfied with your job is draining you more you're longing for something better different more fulfilling more strongly and yet it still seems so unclear and you have no idea what to do and you just can't imagine taking <laughs> taking practical action because you don't know really where to go what to do and yet you kind of on one hand feel like you need to quit your job first and then the answers will come, but that's really that's a tough thing to trust. I was in that exact same situation myself, and so I'm going to tell you. I can't think of other than two ways. There seems to be two schools of thought, and I think it'll just depend on where you're at in your life and what will work best for you. But I'll go over two different ways of a comp of, of making this transition. I have successfully made the transition. I got out of the job that was draining for me. I didn't like. And even though it was once interesting to me and once supported me, it just started to fall apart and it just didn't resonate. And I, I, I took the plunge and I made the shift and now I'm doing something I, 10 times un, unspeakably satisfying and awesome that I literally wake up like skipping on the way to work every single day. It's, it's an amazing blessing and I believe having gone through this, I believe there's some fundamental quality to it. It sort of comes along with spiritual growth and uh, the, the ascension, the awakening process will eventually align your life on all levels, including your career. And though scary, it's uh, my life again is better than it, I could have ever predicted one year, as, as, as short ago as one year. So I'm gonna tell you what, what I did and, and what might help you in this situation. So, the first option, the route that I'm sure most of you would prefer to take, something I preferred to take but wasn't able to, is the slow and safe way. Meaning, it's smart, it's wise to keep what you have currently and not burn your bridges and jump off the cliff here and sort of slowly put energy into some other hobbies or pursuits or things you might suspect you want to do and sort of balance them both simultaneously until this new endeavor picks up steam and you feel comfortable finally letting go of the first job. This is what I this is what someone mentioned to me a long time ago. He suggested I get a 10 to 2, which is like in the evening time rather than do what most people do, which is just sort of kind of kick back and watch TV, bust ass and set yourself up a very um, structured, disciplined schedule for yourself where you put quality effort every day into this new endeavor. And even though it's sort of a lot to ask of yourself, that that's one way to go about it. Kind of like the person who's a full-time college student and has a job to support themselves. That's sort of a, a, a tough thing to do, but people do it all the time. So that's one way. That's what I wanted to do. I had two different businesses. One was a medical marijuana grow up and one was a personal training gym. I first shut down the gym and I thought, wow, how nice would it be to just stop, uh, you know, I, I got rid of the gym. It was already a big ball of stress that I, I felt there's a burden of stress that just lifted from me. And I thought, man, how nice would it be to do just like start my YouTube channel. I realize it takes time to get going and just grow weed, which is sort of a nice, fun, non-job sort of thing anyway. And I'll have the freedom. And though it'll take a little time, I can stay fairly financially stable as I pursue this new dream. But then it, the 
I started to experience the exact same phenomena and symptoms with the grow. For some reason, it was out of alignment. It started to drain me. I started to run into crazy problems one after the other. And I knew that even though what I was doing still was completely vague, at the time I finally decided to just stop my grow, I had a whole bunch of YouTube channels and blogs and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just sort of fishing around for my purpose and fishing around for that thing that I knew was out there that would fulfill me and, and, and support me. I had faith that that thing would in some way support me and my family financially. But again, this is uh, that's, that didn't work out for me because the energies, my, my experiences became far too compelling that I knew I had to quit my grow. In fact, in spite of the signs being overwhelming that I needed to stop, because it was so illogical, I had children to feed, mortgage, all that kind of stuff. To, and to cut myself off from all sources of income seemed just ludicrous. But that's what I was being so strongly guided to do. So I finally did. I shut down my grow and, and killed all my plants. And then I freaked out and panicked and said, what the hell did you do? That's the stupidest thing you've ever done. I can't believe you did that. So I started it back up and I forced it against the grain, against the energies. I knew I was clinging big time. I knew this was dangerous, but I, I could not for the life of me imagine why my guidance was saying to just quit the grow. It, it made no sense. I was getting pissed off my higher guidance. I said, screw off. I'm, I'm not letting you run me into financial disaster and ruin. I, you guys are, you're done. I'm taking over because I, I just can't, I don't have that much faith right now. I just don't. And I forced this grow. And you know what happened? I ran into so many rare and random and bizarre problems one after another. The amount of energy I would have to put into a grow of this size was like five times because of all these random issues. I had to put a lot of money into dealing with these issues. And at the end of the day, I literally broke even. I, I didn't make a single penny because it was, and, and it exhausted me. And at that point, that's when I finally made the logical decision that, wow, this grow is not allowed to happen, but apparently it's not going to work. And now the numbers don't lie. You didn't make a single penny and you busted ass for six months. And that was when I finally said, okay, I'll stop. And you know what? This will get into number two. Number two is, <laughs> I wrote down a funny way of putting it, fast and scary. That's kind of what I did. It was terrifying. I knew I couldn't do the grow and I sort of accepted that, but it still, I still felt that fear of like, what the hell am I gonna do? Because it wasn't as if I, I quit the, I, I finally severed off my businesses that I had immediate ideas of, of what to do to replace them. There was that limbo of complete unknown, complete insecurity and anxiety. But you know what? There are benefits to number two because it brought out the best of me. I had to succeed. And I did. I, it brought out a whole new level of work ethic and discipline and that's when I really, really transformed myself big time from being sort of a part-time light worker, you could say, you know, someone who just kind of like, yeah, skating by, coasting like I did in high school, just kind of like just did enough to get by, you know, I didn't like really give a shit about my grades, um, that kind of thing. And it was time to really come into my own and that forced me to grow at a rate I was just never, have gr I've never gone through such a, uh, like a maturity growth spurt you could say and having gone through it though painful it was like a, a rite of passage for me and I think it's drastic really had a, a huge influence on the quality of content and videos and blog posts and services and programs I make I do all sorts of things now that are in alignment with this passion that I did find in absence of these other two things I found that it seems to me that what I really want has to, not has to happen, what I really wanted 
tends to be where I inevitably go. What I mean, and it's, it's kind of tough to explain, is that what I really wanted was to get out to California and be a YouTube guy and, and, and be completely f uh, support myself and free, able to make my own hours, doing only what I love. That's what I really wanted. I had the fear that if I just go and do that, not really knowing how or anything and not having enough how information, that I could potentially run into epic disasters like not be able to pay my rent, losing the house, crazy shit like that. And so I, I sort of formulated a secondary plan, which is, well, I'm gonna have a little grow and I'll work on this part time, but that's not actually what I deeply really wanted. And my higher self knew we could pull it off. So it, it broke down the grow, it bulldozed, it said, you ain't doing this no more. You can keep, keep trying. We'll sit here and we'll, we'll make jokes about how stubborn you are, even in spite of the obvious evidence smacking you in the face. It did not work. I took the plunge. I was given everything I need. Random influxes of money would come in. Uh, whether it be like tax returns or I sold all my gym equipment. I had a lot of grow equipment that accounted to quite a bit of money. We finally sold our house and went with the whole RV option. Sold all of our belongings at our house. All these little things just sort of kept us barely afloat. And the timing was impeccable. It was brilliant. Just when I, we were about at zero, you know, or actually I, I did slide into debt a lot actually. Um, I just became comfortable with going to debt <laughs> with that faith that I could see the reaction that I was getting on my YouTube channel. I just, I just, I had no other choice. I had put myself, I just hadn't, I just kept going, <laughs> I kept going with it. I already made a decision. Um, but that's why I believe a lot of people are feeling guided to do that because your soul knows that's what you really want. You can pull it off and it will, it will rise you. It will raise you to your final potential not final potential, but raise you to a level of potential that you didn't even know you had. And you can do what you love and, and monetize that. You can monetize anything nowadays. You guys can let me know if you want me to make another video about this. You could have a basket weaving blog and learn how to generate traffic to that blog and put on Google AdSense and maybe sell a little how to basket weave and you know program and you can grow that basket weaving blog if that's what you love and you could eventually you know in a couple years have so many maybe thousands of visitors every single day if you learn how to do it correctly that you can make money from your little basket weaving blog you can do it with anything I, I just think a lot of people are at this state that's why I brought I, I talked about this I know I kind of jumped around and didn't tell you exactly what to do, but again, those are the two different options. You can play it safe if you if that's what it was gonna be fine for you. That's I am sure gonna work for a lot of people. And if you feel like that's not the way to go, then you just have to really rise to your potential and trust that you will have what you need when you need it. And don't ignore the evidence. If something's breaking down miserably and you see it's just a dying thing, your job or whatever, then at least I, I could say for myself, I've learned to trust the energies and, and go with my intuition and it has never failed me. I don't believe it'll fail you either and I, I don't believe you, I, I think on some level most of you know that. So I just sort of wanted to talk about this. If you guys are interested in this sort of topic, I'll be happy to talk about it more. Um, again, I think the way the energies are is that you have to start living your life in accordance with what you really want. Not what you think is safe, what you really want. And what you really want, because it's an organic, natural want, a natural desire, there's a way. So, hope that helps you guys. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm here for you for support. I just know how nutty it was. But again, man, it's, uh, it's probably the roughest patch I've gone through maybe in my whole life, but the most rewarding, exponentially rewarding. And I couldn't be happier that I went through it. And I, I wish you all nothing but the best with your own pursuit of pursuing your own dreams, okay? Have an amazing day. This is the age where dreams do really come true, okay? That's what this fourth density is all about. Aligning you with your true self and allowing your true self to become reflected in all ways in your life. And it's just up to you to just follow the signs. Okay, so good luck. Namaste.